Hey everybody, Scott here from G System Videos. I am back again with another fun video about weird shit that no one really cares about. Aw, fine, let's go. Today I am going to talk about guitar picks again. And my buddy Steve in Dubai, thanks Steve, he uh, sent me some picks. And I thought, well, I talked about picks before, but I didn't really go in depth on the picks that I use on all of them, because I got a I got a ton of picks. I got about a thousand picks if I had to if I was forced to count them. Thank God I'm not being forced to count them, because I don't wanna. But uh, he sent me these really cool picks from uh, Switzerland. From a company called Huffschmidt Guitars, and I'll put a link in the description. You can check them out. But uh, it got me thinking about picks and how I use picks, and uh, how you should use picks. So let me show you my little uh, part of my collection. Just the uh, just the main picks. Let's go see. Okay, these are the picks that I use the most. I've got about a thousand picks in my guitar pick collection, all kinds of signed picks and, you know, signature picks, uh, you know, Rick Nielsen picks. He used to give away these picks at his shows that had a coupon on the back for a dollar off at this uh, music store in Rockford, Illinois. I've got one of those somewhere. And uh, it's funny because the pick is worth more than a dollar now on eBay. So anyway. What I'll do is, uh, uh, for different situations, use a different pick. Everyone sounds different. The brightest pick I have is this tiny little blue sucker. I've used these for, for a while. I got it at a store in Nashville. They were the only store I found in the whole country that had these when I was touring. And I used to buy them by the dozen. And super bright. Very uh, uh, thin-ish, but not too thin. Um, and then I went to... Uh, the Fender Mediums for a while, the Gibson Mediums, sticking with the teardrop thing uh, for a, quite a while, and then going to the Jazz Size, have my own little picks made, Big Blue Hearts picks, BBH on there. Um, I use those for some years as well, and then just started collecting picks. Now, uh, the Jellyfish is meant to simulate a 12-string guitar on a 6-string. The Dog is uh, the David uh, Grissom... Uh, or Grisman, yeah, David Grisman, mandolin pick, and uh, this is an acrylic pick from Huffschmidt Guitars in uh, Switzerland. My buddy Steve in Dubai sent me this one. Thanks, Steve. It's a it's a freaky pick. It's weird to hold on to. It's like you know I'm gonna play guitar for a while, then I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna burn some ants with this sucker. If I were twelve, but uh, yeah, some some brass picks uh, from MB Picks on eBay. Um, my favorite go-to jazz pick is the D'Andrea XL. It's just got a really super warm sound. Something about this material and this shape just uh, just works great. Um, yeah, I love the the uh, the jazz shape. Um, every kind of jazz shape. The tuck, I'm sorry, tusk picks. I like all the Dunlops, the Jazz Threes, the uh, the Tortex, the Deva is my main pick these days. Uh, because it's got this grippy, rubbery stuff on it that uh, won't let you let it go. And I drop picks like fucking crazy. So, there's that. Now let's go to the guy with the guitar and hear a few of these suckers. I'm going to start with the smallest and the brightest, which is that tiny little blue sucker. And this thing was really great for uh, uh, the studio when you want a really clean, shimmery guitar line and... Uh, or just really bright chords, so let's hear it. Next up is my main pick right now, the Deva pick. Love them because I can't drop them. And I am a habitual pick dropper. So, yeah. <laughs> Now 
Next, I've got those wooden picks, and I can't remember where I got them. Probably on eBay. And they're, they're concave, or convex, I forget. Which, whichever the one that goes this way. <laughs> Up, not in. And uh, convex, I believe. And on one side and flat on the other. So they've got a, a, a kind of an interesting feel in the hand, depending on which way you're holding it. So, uh... You can really hear the grain when you uh, pick on this one. And it can make for some cool effects when you're using a lot of gain. Here's the metal pick, or one of the metal picks. This one's made from a, uh, a symbol, a brass, uh, I don't know what, if, it was, if it was a crash or what, but uh, it, uh, I got this from MB Picks on eBay. I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, they don't sound as bright as you would think for a metal pick. Um, pretty middle of the road. Next is this crazy yellow McPherson. It is super bright, like the uh, the little blue one, because it's got a really po a really you know sharp point on the end. And this is great for acoustics. It's great for delicate uh, rhythm stuff. <laughs> My favorite jazz pick, the uh, D'Andrea XL. Um, sadly, I can't use this pickup right now. This switch took a shit on me, so I can't really play the jazziest stuff that I can do, but I can give you an idea. <laughs> Here's the, the dog, the David Grisman, uh, I think that's how you say his name, the mandolin guy. And uh, just super fat, really dark. <laughs> This one's really interesting with, with overdrive because you can basically remove the attack and just have the, the whoosh of the big chords. Here's the big acrylic from Huffschmidt Guitars. It's bright on, uh, you know, on the point side. This one takes some getting used to when you use it with overdrive though because it's so big in your hand I end up hitting the, the wrong strings all the time. <laughs> Thank you. 
And the weirdest pick in my collection, the jellyfish. I'll put a link for this one as well. It's just uh, supposed to simulate a 12 string, so. And depending on which way you hold it, you get a different sound. There goes the pick. Uh-oh, I must be done. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll be back on Friday with another Free Set Friday. And I just wanted to share some fun pick stuff with you. So there you go. There's some fun pick stuff. Food for thought. And for the studio, you should always have a ton of different picks around. But just because they can uh, spark creativity. And that's always fun. So, until Friday. Rock on. <laughs>